Okay, Dax, I'll clear your doubt. I'm starting the chapter. The land of sand and snow. So land of sand means the desert land, and land of snow that is about the green land will be studying. Clear? Saudi Arabia hot desert climatic region. We are going to study about Saudi Arabia, the desert. You all know desert. You might have heard this word and studied also in grade four also about the desert. Yes, we have studied in grade four about the about Thar Desert. Yes, Thar Desert is in which country? India. And which state? Rajasthan. Thar Desert. A desert is a large land area of land, usually in the hot region, where there is almost no water, no rain, no trees, or no plants. Clear, yes, students? So, desert is the area where no trees are there, no water, no rainfall. Only barren land is found. That is called as desert. Many of you might have visited our Thar Desert. Yes, India's desert. The climate in the desert is. Hot and dry. What type of climate do we have? Hot and dry. The annual rainfall is less than 25 centimeters and very less means annual throughout the year. The rainfall is less than 25 centimeters. The days are hot with the temperature rising about 45 degrees Celsius. Very hot temperature during daytime and the nights are bitterly cold. With the temperature dropping down to 15 degrees Celsius, so the climate during the daytime is very high, and climate at the night is very less. It is minus 15 degree to Celsius. Deserts have lot of sand. Clear? Deserts have lot of sand dunes, which are Not stationary, yes, sand dunes. The hills of sand are called as sand dunes. Clear students, what are sand dunes? The hills of sand are called as sand dunes. Now, cool, not to eat anything. When class is on, the strong winds of desert keep shifting the sand dunes from one place to another. The hills of sand they get shifted because of the wind blowing from one place to another. There are various types of deserts also. All the hot deserts are located. All these hot deserts are located near the tropics, tropical area. Tropics means where the tropic of Cancer and tropic of Capricorn is passing. That area is called as tropics. Here, students, the area passing from Topic of Cancer and topic of Capricorn is called as tropics. So all the hot deserts are located near the tropics. Hot de deserts cover one eighth of the Earth's land surface. How much one eighth of the land surface is covered by the hot deserts? The hot deserts lie in two belts. Here, yes, students, this hot deserts lie in the two belts near the. Topic of Cancer up to 30 degree north latitude in the northern hemisphere and near the Topic of Capricorn up to 30 degree five minutes 30 degree south latitude in the southern hemisphere. So these four deserts are lying in the Topic of Cancer and Topic of Capricorn. Now the hot desert regions of the world. Which are the hot deserts? We'll know the below. The Thar Desert, the desert of India, it is also hot desert. Yes. The next is Sahara Desert. It is in the desert of North Africa, Australian Desert, the desert of Western Australia, Kalahari Desert, the desert of South Western Africa, Atacama Desert, that is desert of South America, Gobi Desert, the desert of Central Asia, Arabian Desert, the desert in the Arabian. Peninsula. These are the names of desert students. Here you all have to learn. Tomorrow I am going to ask, okay, which is the name of desert and which part it is? Okay. Now the location. Saudi Arabia is located in the desert 
Arabian Desert region. And now we are going to study about this Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is the largest country in the Arabian Peninsula. Students, you all know about peninsula. Peninsula means three sides water. A piece of land having three sides water is called as peninsula. Clear? A peninsula is a three sides water. So Arabian Peninsula is the largest country in the largest part. And Saudi Arabia is the largest country in the Arabian Peninsula. The Southwestern Asia. It is also called as the Middle East. And it is also called as Middle East because it is the middle part of Asia continent. It lies between latitude 70 degree north and 30 degree north. And the longitude are 35 degree east and 55 degree east. So this is the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of Saudi Arabia. What is it? You can underline. Latitude 70 degree north and 32 degree north. And the longitudes are 35 degree east and 55 degree east. The topic of cancer passes through the country. Yes, and topic of cancer is passing through the Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is surrounded by sea on three sides. Yes, and that's why only it is called as peninsula. I already gave the definition of peninsula. A place having three sides water is called peninsula. And Saudi Arabia has three sides sea. On the west, there is Red Sea. What is there on the west? Red Sea is there. Which separates it from Africa. So, South Red Sea separates Saudi Arabia from the Africa. Yes. So, Saudi Arabia has three sides sea. On the west, there is Red Sea. On the east, on the east, there is Persian Gulf and the Gulf of Oman and to the south lies Arabian Sea. Clear students? On the south of Saudi Arabia it is, there is Arabian Sea. Clear students? Yes. Now we move towards the next part that is Rab Al Khali. It is the largest desert in the Saudi Arabia. It is located to the south of Saudi Arabia. Clear students? Now, Nafu Desert in the Makkha region is in the northern Saudi Arabia. So these all are the deserts of Saudi Arabia and different different deserts are found in it. The western coastal region is called the Tiham. And the western coastal region is called as Siam. The south region of the country is called Ashir region. And the southern region is called as Ashir region. It has many hills and mountains. And this Ashir region is having many hills and mountains. Taif and Aba are the two hill stations located in this Saudi Arabia. So the two famous hill stations are Taif and Aba. The center part of Saudi Arabia has a plateau called Naz. Naz. And the plateau region is Naz. Students, you can see on the map in the Asia continent. Yes, you can see the world map. And in that, you can see in Asia continent, Saudi Arabia is found. Please see both the maps, students. In the green color, it is shown on completely world map. Then in the sea. Different continent, Asia continent, Europe continent is shown and there. Africa is also shown. And in that, in the center part, you can see the completely green color. That is Saudi Arabia students. Yes, this is, you can see Saudi Arabia. And here, this is the complete map of Saudi Arabia. The famous rab e khali Desert. You can see this is the rab e khali Desert. Then of the Nabda Desert all. <coughs> and the two famous hill stations are Aba and Taif. These are the hill stations of this 
Saudi Arabia students. Now, what type of natural vegetation and wildlife is there? Yes, so date palm, thorny bushes, and cacti tree grows in the desert region. Which trees are of the desert area? Thorny bushes, cacti grow in the desert region. Camel, ostrich, oryx, gazella, baboon, and rhino are the animals commonly found in the whole desert region. See, animals also are of different types according to the regions which they can survive. So the animals which can survive in desert hot land are only found in that area. So this was about the natural vegetation students. Now we move towards the natural resources and industries which could be developed in this area. Clear yes, students? So one of the richest country in the world. Why? How these countries have become richest? Because of the petroleum. We are, our Indians are also importing petrol from the Saudi Arabian countries only. Saudi Arabia is the largest producer of oil in the world. Zida has rich reserves of oil and large deposits of limestone, gypsum, marble, clay and salt are also found in Saudi Arabia. So apart from the mineral oil, limestone, gypsum, marble, clay and salt are the minerals which are found in Saudi Arabia. The industries are mostly petroleum based. Why is the main export of Saudi Arabia? So all the industries are developed in this Saudi Arabia, but they are based on petroleum. Because petroleum, they have large deposits of petroleum in Saudi Arabia. Here students, now about the occupations, dressing styles of the people of Saudi Arabia. People live a comfortable life in cities of Saudi Arabia. Yes, earlier they were nomads. The village people they had called as Bedouins. Yes, the original people who were of Saudi Arabia were called as Bedouins. But now in cities, because they are rich, they have reconstructed their houses and modern life they are living. The rural villages are spread around the Oasis region. You all know what is Oasis? Oasis is the land area where that surface water is formed on the soil. That is called oasis. And the houses of the villages are made up of bricks. The nomads of Saudi Arabia are called as Bedouins. Yes, the village life is different. People of this villages in Saudi Arabia, they are called as nomads. And Bedouins. They move with their cattle in caravans from place to place. Even caravans means in group of 10 to 20 people. That is called as caravans. And they move from place to place in search of food, shelter, water. Clear students? And the people of cities, they live modern and comfortable life. Now the occupations of these people are farming, animal rearing, oil mining are the main occupations in Saudi Arabia. Yes, because oil industries are the main industries developed in Saudi Arabia. Apart from this, village people, they are doing animal rearing and farming work. Now, most of the nomads rear animals such as sheep, goat and camel. When nomads means persons who move from one place to another are called as nomads. When you should forget, please write there the meaning. Nomads means person who move from place to place are called as nomads. And they are rearing sheep, goats and camel also. Crops such as date, melon, tomatoes and wheat are grown by them. Here students crops such as date, melon, tomatoes and wheat are also grown here. The people wear long cotton dress called twab. And the dress you might have seen on the screen now. They wear a long, long cotton dress that is called as swab. So the dress worn by them is called as swab. They wear a head dress called kefi and the head covering is called as kefi. That protects from the heat of the sun and the cold wind. So the head covering which these people are wearing is called kefi and 
that protects from the heat and the cold wind a strong rope band holds the headdress in a place and the wrong rope is also stick down the head women wear long rope called aba so the woman dress is called aba and the man dress is called as sab clear students the man wear dress called swab and women wear dress called aba it is compulsory for them to wear a hijab for the modesty hijab means face covering okay the women are asked to place a hijab over their dress so that it protects them and it shows their modesty as it is called is in hindi veil also clear students so this was about the dressing style of the people of saudi arabia now we move towards the transport and how do they travel from one place to another transporting the camel is the main means of transportation in the hot desert region clear students camel is the main means of transportation in the hot desert in the cities where development has taken place vehicles are used so in the cities where this development takes place vehicles are moving and in the desert area they use camel as, as a means of transportation now the religion and the language islam is the main religion arabic is a common language yes students the language which they use are islamic and arabic language is used most of the city people also speak english clear students most of the city people are using english as a language so this was about the religion and the language of the saudi arabian now which cities you all know that islamic is the main religion the king of saudi arabia has developed the city life in the country riyadh is the capital city jeddah is the modern port city clear students jeddah is the modern port city of riyadh saudi arabia and capital city riyadh is the capital of saudi arabia you can underline students riyadh is the capital of saudi arabia and jeddah is the port city the muslims go on holy pilgrimage to mecca and madina the holy town yes as hindus we go to na kedarnath badrinath dwarka same way the muslims have mecca and madina as a religious place or religious pilgrim center of muslims all over the world so all over the world muslims they go to mecca and madina okay students so this was about the cities now we move towards the next part that is greenland here yes, students now we move towards the greenland a greenland a polar climatic region cold climatic region earlier we have seen the hot climatic region now we see the cold climatic region it is also called as tundra region it is in and around the arctic circle near to near the northern part and the antarctic circle near the south pole clear students so this greenland is also called as tundra region and it is around the arctic circle near the north pole and the antarctic circle near the south pole everything is frozen rock hard because of extreme low temperature in the polar region so it is completely frozen area fringed area in the polar region most of the year the temperature is below 0 degree and the climatic condition is very cold fringe it is below 0 degree celsius temperature in the summer is above 4 degree celsius sometimes they get dislocated and move from glaciers at other times a large chunks of glaciers float in the sea these are called as icebergs yes large chunks of glaciers are called as icebergs are also found in this greenland 
that is tundra region include the greenland northern siberia alaska greenland is the polar region clear friends so this was about the greenland it is completely the temperature of this is my it goes below 0 degree celsius and summer is 4 degree celsius and sometimes they get dislocated and move from glaciers and this uh, large chunks of glaciers are called as icebergs are seen as in deserts we find oases same way in greenland we find iceberg clear students now the location where it is location and what is the place of this greenland clear students the greenland is a part of the continent of north america this greenland lies between 60 degree north and 90 degree north latitude and 20 degree west and 70 degree west longitude here yes, students so location is it is in the northern america and the latitudinal extent is 60 degree north and 90 degree north latitude and 20 degree west and 20 degree west longitude it is the largest island in the world yes largest island you all know what is island four sides water is called island and three sides water is called peninsula four side water is called island so greenland is the largest island in the world the capital of greenland is nuuk what is the capital of greenland nuuk greenlanders are danish citizens okay so this was about the greenland students what is the capital nuuk is the capital of greenland now the climatic condition of the greenland the climate is very cold in greenland the temperature is below 0 degree celsius whole year whole year the temperature remains below 0 degree the sun never sets in the summer that is why greenland is called the land of midnight sun greenland is called the land of midnight sun because sun never sets in summer but because of colder there is night only in the winter the sun never rises there are mountains near the coast of greenland in summer the sun never sets and in, in winter the sun never rises because of the colder climatic conditions now the nature vegetation and the wildlife found in this region are as the climatic region is cold only grass and lichens grow everywhere at some places beech and willow trees also grow polar bear lemming unmined Arctic fox, Arctic hare, reindeer, and wolverine are some of the animals found in the polar region. So these are the animals found in this polar region. Climate is very cold because it is completely covered with the snow. Natural gas and industries. Greenland has rich deposits of lead, zinc, uranium, copper and gold. It exports land, frozen corn, food and fish. So these are the natural resources and it is rich densely. Why because the life is not comfortable here. So people don't like to Area, so it is densely populated area. Not much population is found in this Greenland area, students. Clear, students? So this was about the Greenland, the largest 